excellent question. And I know everything you said is very true at the end. Um, and I know that, you know, this fear may be coming from, you know, I would imagine there's always threats to, especially the schools on the Waianae Coast, that because we're supposedly at the bottom of these lists that, you know, somehow we might get restructured or taken over or, or, or maybe even closed. And, um, you know, I, I think I, I would fight that all the way, you know, because I know that there's such a big need for, for Nana Kulihan Intermediate School, and I know that there are so many people there who are working incredibly hard um, to succeed and, and to make the school a success. Um, and I know that um, there's definitely um, nothing to blame to any of you students or, or the people that are there now. Um, really, you folks don't have enough resources to do your job, to do your work. Um, and so, you know, you know, I would think that in a case like this, you know, you know, if, if there was some kind of, you know, threat to funding, what I've seen happen to other schools is that you go under these restructuring um, and the DOE then um, tries to find ways to improve the school, you know, whether it's to bring consultants in or that kind of thing. Um, you know, but that's something that, you know, would, would be, I would think, a long ways off, you know, and, um, and, and there's already been changes they've tried to make um, at the upper administrative level to try to address these things. <laughs> but, you know, I had a conversation the other day with um, one of the, the staff, actually, at, at your school, and, and one of the things that I remember, you know, that was happening a while back, and I'm not sure if how, how active it is now, is there's the Youth Challenge Academy. You know, and I know that, you know, that can be a positive thing for, for a lot of students that might be struggling out there. Um, you know, and I know that, you know, so for if there are students that are feeling like, you know, school is just not the right place for them, um, they're feeling like they aren't being, you know, they aren't for some reason interested in this, what's happening in the classroom, you know, that is one possibility, is maybe, maybe for you, you could try Youth Challenge. And that's, I've seen a lot of students really turn around at Youth Challenge. You know, they, they've gone to there, gotten referred by the teachers, um, and then really got, you know, a lot of tough love. Um, and, and really then, be, you know, found themselves and found what they wanted to do and been able to graduate. So I don't know if there could be some way that we could encourage more of that. Um, it's probably already happening at Mount Akuli High, but maybe more of that type of thing. It, it's, I know it's um, active on the whole coast. You know, they, they have their place where Youth Challenge goes, and it's at Kalailoa. Um, but creative ways that we can find that type of partnerships um, to happen. Um, you know, right now um, we're trying to find a way to get more Hawaiian immersion on the, on the Waianae Coast, and we're having our meetings every month thanks to Principal Pili Aloha at Nanakuli Han Intermediate School. And um, Principal Pili Aloha as well as VP um, Luna have been very supportive of that. I think that can be a really positive thing. Many in your community want to see a P through 20 Hawaiian immersion on the Waianae Coast, and, and particularly probably in Nanakuli. That's where we're having our meetings. That's where the Nanakuli Elementary is. That's where Punanaleo is. I think that could be a really, a really step in the right direction since Nanakuli um, is, is such a, obviously, a strong Hawaiian community. There's such a, I think, I think your high school must have the highest percentage of Native Hawaiians in any public school that I, I imagine. I heard from Darren that there's um, over 80%, I believe, of your population is Hawaiian. Um, and so um, if we could find a way to get P320, I mean preschool all the way to college, um, that you would have immersion, where that means all of your classes are all in Hawaiian. Um, English should be introduced like almost as like a second language in fifth grade and just as a maybe one course. I think that could really bring um, uh, something, a much needed thing. Right now, many of you in, in our community are having to send your keiki out of Waianae, out of Nanakuli, um, to go to continue your immersion studies, and I think that that needs to change. So that's, that's one of the things, one of the ways that I, I, I could see us helping the school. There's many different conversations we're having right now. Um, you know, but you keep up the good work. Um, you know, you're doing great things with the NFL Yet um, Club, the Boys and Girls Club. That thing is, is bringing, bringing great pride to our community. Uh, what's happening with the Ho'okula Evi um, is another really positive thing. It's the Nanakuli community that's really stood up for in support of that. Um, that's SB 3071, by the way, for those that may not know. And it is the Nanakuli community that's been supporting that bill, as well as people from UH and people from outside the community. Mr. B, many of you probably had um, Myron. Um, as your elementary school teacher, he's been really big supporting. And what Ho'okula Evi really is, is it's trying to encourage more homegrown teachers. Many of you watching this video might be interested in being a teacher someday. Um, what's really difficult is when you decide to do that, then you've got to travel all the way to UH Manoa 
often to, to get that degree. Um, this program is trying to bring those opportunities closer so that you don't have to travel so far to become a teacher. And I think that would be a really good step in the right direction too to helping our schools is to really get teachers from the community who live in the community who aren't going to be turnover every two years. Um, so Kimo Kelihi of your PTSA um, and his son um, Kayave have been very active on that, that whole family. Um, and so the Nanakula community is really stepping up and really trying to help itself and try to find ways to work with UH, work with all these different groups um, to really improve um, the school system. And I have faith that that will happen. Mahalo.